Hi everybody, welcome. Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, time for Stamping with Denise. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a wonderful weekend and that you stayed warm. A lot of the U.S. is in a deep freeze, and of course Michigan is. And so I hope that you're surviving this cold weather. So, a um, couple housekeeping like always, a couple housekeeping things while we'll wait for everyone to find us. Um, please, if you like what you see, please comment. Give me hearts, give me thumbs up. Those kinds of things help my video be seen better in on Facebook. Um, also, if you like it, please share my video and comment. Share in the comments. And there's a chance you'll win the project I'm working on tonight. Um, the winner from last week, if you recall last week, I made this really, this cute card using the free celebration stamp set. I think it's called Catching Butterflies, but don't hold me to that name, but I think that's the name of it. And the winner, let me see, I, yep, it's K Phipps. It's okay. I'll get this card out to you right away. And I thank you for sharing. And I thank everybody who shares my video. It helps me out a lot and doesn't cost you anything it is appreciated so you know that that stamp set was kind of a spring theme we've got another spring theme card tonight so i will um, change the view down to my hands and we will get started there we go okay so today i'm going to use this stamp set from the new January to June mini catalog. It's called Kite Delight. And it's simple, but I think it's got a lot of versatility. I whipped this birthday card up. And what I like about it is really, depending on what colors you use, it could be for either gender, any age. I just think it's a really versatile set. This is probably one I will keep in my um, stamp room long after it retires. It's just a um, beautiful, fun stamp set. It's got some good sentiments. Your friendship is so uplifting. Another year flies by. Happy birthday. Wishes for a carefree day. We've got four different styles of kites. We have stripes with polka dots. We have kind of a I forget what kind of kite you call that. It's kind of, I, kind of like an airplane kite. This one's checked. This one's flowered. We've got a sun. We've got the strings for the kites. We have uh, clouds. Just fun. And I think this would be really cute if you use the marvelous paper that's in the... Um, that's a celebration freebie. Whoops, let me get that down there so you can see it. That's a celebration freebie. Um, I think it would make a great sky background, the blue one. Yeah, I like that. I might have to play with that later. So um, we are going to do this this card. It's super simple. It doesn't have any dies. You can see I have fussy cut out the sun, and I have fussy cut out two of the kites. And we are going to get started. And I went with blue because I never quite have enough blue or enough ma masculine um, birthday cards when it comes time. So my base here is Misty Moonlight. It's eight and a half by five and a half. I folded it in half. And then my mat here is Balmy Blue. And that's five and a quarter by four inches and that's going to go on there Get that. there we go yep right there that'll work so i'm going to go ahead and put that on right now I use my stamp and seal love this there's a bit of a learning curve you know when you you gotta pull it and then you gotta break the tape you don't want to just pull because then you get this long string of tape and you waste a lot of tape so you want to pull and break it Stampin' Up! used to have an adhesive and a similar holder that you did a check mark kind of thing with. You went and did a check mark, 
But then I found that that makes the tape that it's on, the tape that the adhesive on, kind of would get out of place and sometimes causes some problems. So I started just using the flip it up method with my wrist and it seems to work most of the time. Once in a while I have a issue where it doesn't work, but anyway. Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go through the blends that I'm using before we get started so that um, in case I forget to tell you, you'll know. I used the light one in all of these colors. Remember Stampin' Up! sells the blends in a pair. You get a light and a dark of each color. And um, if you're interested in ordering some blends or anything you see today, you can go right here to my website, denisewill.stampinup.net. And when you place your order, use that host code. And remember, celebration, we've got about another three weeks. For every $50 you purchase before shipping and tax, you get to pick a free item. We've got several papers, stamp sets, just some really cute stuff. And once they're gone, they're gone. So if there's something you're interested in, pick it up now. So anyway, the blends. We, I'm using, these are all the light blend from each shade. We have Real Red, Granny Apple Green, Rich Raz Razzleberry, Light Pumpkin Pie, Balmy Blue, Mango Melody, and Bermuda Bay. So all of those, and we'll be using those on, the, on our card, okay? So now I have a piece of basic white, and this one's five by three and three quarters, okay? And what I'm gonna start out with stamping first is the clouds. So I'm gonna use Balmy Blue for that. I'm going to set this right there for now. And I'm just going to ink up my, my cloud and put that right there. I'm going to put one little bit over here to the side and down and kind of off the paper. And I'm going to put another one over here this way. There we go. Okay, I think that's all I need this ink for, so I'm going to put that away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Balmy Blue Blend. Boy, that's a mouthful. Balmy Blue Blend. And color these clouds in. Nothing fancy. I'm just using little circles. I'm trying to avoid lines, but usually the alcohol markers kind of take care of that on their own. Okay, and I love when a design kind of goes off the card, off the side of the paper. It gives it a little bit of a more dimension, more kind of, I don't know what I want to say. I just like the way it looks. A little more reality, maybe. Okay, and you can see... I told you those blends will kind of, the lines will kind of settle out and go away. That's why I, I don't, that's why I like the blends so much, but I do tend to do circles like this if I can. So, you know, I was thinking, I guess I'm, I'm really looking forward to spring. This card is a spring card, you know, with kites. Last week's card was with butterflies, was a spring card. Go figure. Anyway, okay, so that's there. Um, we're, I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight, and I'm going to go ahead and put the sentiment down below. Another year flies by. Happy birthday. Put it pretty much centered. Whoops, I'm going to make sure. So one thing I like about these photopolymer stamps is you can see through them, make sure that they're inked up completely. But because they don't have, you know, the layer of cushion like a rubber stamp does, it's nice to have a mat to stamp on. There we go. 
This is Misty Moonlight. And Misty Moonlight is one of our in colors, and at the end of May, it's going to be retired. So anything with Misty Moonlight, designer series paper, cardstock, ink, refills, ribbon, is going away it'll be retiring in may never to return so if it's a color you love like i love misty moonlight you need to be sure that you get it okay now we're not done with this i'm gonna go ahead even though we haven't done our our kites um we're going to stamp the tails on them and i have some that i had played with when i was deciding what color combinations i liked okay and so I, I saved these to use kind of as a, for play, you know, to help place these. Um, so I think right about there is good. So it just helps me get my kite tail in the right location. And if I get a little ink on it, it's no big deal because it's not my um, good one. Okay. And then this one can go here. So we'll do the same thing. This one will run off the paper. Kind of like this. Sorry to get my head in the camera here. There we are, perfect. So then I know that my alignment is right where I want it. Okay, you know what, as long as I've got the misty moonlight out, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp the um, kites here. Got two kites, I've got this airplane looking one. You know, if I was, to, if this, you know, the, being in blue, this card is more ge geared to a man, but it could go for, to a lady too. But if I was going, if I knew it was going to a lady for sure, Maybe I'd use the flowered kite instead of these more geometric ones. But you know what? You can use whatever you want. And I think the nice thing is, is it makes, you know, whatever you color combination you use is, you know, what will help determine that. Okay, and you notice what I'm doing. I'm stamping in one of our colors rather than black. Almost always when I um, color or you know, stamp to color in with blends, I'm stamping in with, I'm stamping with black. Not today, today we're doing all um, with the Misty Moonlight and the other thing I'm gonna do is the sun and we're going to stamp that in Mango Melody. Wonderful. Okay, let me get that away. Now, um, let's go. Let me put these over to the side. Let me put my card over here. And whenever you're coloring with the blends, you want to make sure you have a piece of paper underneath because the blends do bleed through. You can see the clouds have bled through. And you don't want to be on top of something, you know, that you're going a good piece of paper and then have it um, bleed through onto it. So we're going to go ahead and color in these tails. I'm going to do them just like I did here. I think that's, that's the hardest thing on this card is just deciding what color combinations I wanted to use. So I, had, I played with a few as you saw before. I had some other ones I didn't like the way they turned out but I'm happy with these ultimately. And let's see, the pumpkin pie on that one. I tend to use, as, as I've showed you before, those the blends have two tips. They have a very fine brush end and then they have a thicker nib end. Most of the time I'm using this thick end because it's one thing it does is it saves the brush end. Okay, this one down here. This is the mango. Yeah. Mango Melody. 
Oops. And this one here. And we'll use the red here. Okay. So and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base while we're at it, and then that'll all be done. So I know this is good. The only thing I have to add to it are the things that are fussy cut out. Um, I'll put this on here. One thing I'm realizing, I think this card is missing that might be nice are some stump, some gemstones, some embellishments. So once I get it put together, I'm going to grab some out of my drawer and see what we can find to go on there. Sometimes I don't think about that right away. What I like about this card, though, it's pretty flat. It's not going to be bumpy. It's not going to be hard to mail. So, okay, remember this is the Mango Melody that I stamped the sun in. So I'm taking the light Mango Melody, just coloring it in. You all know how to color. You want to make sure your ink that you stamped with it has had a chance to dry completely. Otherwise, you risk it smearing. And that's, and that's true whether you're using... The memento black or one of these so I'm just gonna do one do this do a couple here and again just stamp some stamp some of these color them in see what color you combinations you like um, it really to me that was the hardest thing just deciding what colors I wanted to have in my different kites so, and I'm coloring, again, I'm coloring this kite just like the one on my sample. Nothing special. This kite here is good with four different, kind of four different colors. I found that that seemed to work well. You do have to watch, they will bleed. So you have to be kind of careful. Then we got the green. And again, like I said, with the blends, I like that the lines from coloring take care of themselves and they fade away. So I'm not going to make you sit and watch while I color this last um, kite and cut it out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Eh. There we go. So, because I already have them done and cut out. So there you are. Um, I'm going to put, if you, and if you know what, if you didn't want to, these are, the kites are really easy to cut out. This is a, the sun is just a little bit more time consuming. And actually, you know what? If you didn't even want to cut it out, you could just stamp it and put it right on there. And that would be fine too. Now, where are my dimensionals? Here they are. Let's get one here for the sun. Let me see, I'll put that right there. Okay. I'm going to put a couple on here, on this kite, and uh, my head might get in the way, I just want to make sure it's positioned right where I want it, with the tail, and then we have the smaller kite. And then really the card is done short of deciding on some embellishments. Let's put that right there. I love that card. Okay, there we go. Simple, easy peasy. 
Let's see, what do we have? I have all sorts of embellishments. Let me grab them all. Whoops, I dropped some. Okay, these are both the in color jewels, probably not. I've got, these are pastel pearls. Nope, clear rhinestones, no. Gilded gems, no. Holiday rhinestones, well, possibly, but these are the blue adhesive back gems. These are some champagne, some pearls. The elegant faceted gems, those are brushed metallic. Adhesive back hexagons, those are brand new in the catalog. I haven't even opened those up. I haven't opened these either. either. Classic matte dots, English dots, hmm. genial gems. You've seen me use these a dozen times. The um, artistry room sequins. This is faux sea glass. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm looking for. What, what is this? I dropped something else down here. Oh, I've got metallic pearls, but I don't think those are quite right. You know what? Maybe I'll try some of these polished dots. How does that sound? They're clear. They and put some of those on there. Again, I haven't even opened these up. They have such. This new catalog has some great embellishments in it. Let me get my little knife here. I'm gonna get the smaller ones up here at the top. I'm gonna get some of these clear ones. I think. There's one there. They kind of look like raindrops, which make me sad, but I don't want raindrops. Oh, there we go. Okay. And so there we go. This is you, a birthday card that's relatively masculine using the Kite Delight stamp set from the January to June mini catalog. So I hope you like the card and uh, please share my video, comment, share. Maybe I'll be sending it to you next week. Thank you so much for joining and come back next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Bye now.